the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with love unutterable. And I have so many times unworthily abandoned you. But now I love you with my whole heart. And because I love you, I repent sincerely for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for the love of me. I wish also my beloved Redeemer to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. As we gather here at the station where Jesus is helped by Simon, St. Alphonsus puts it very bluntly. Simon was constrained to carry the cross behind our Lord. Don't you hate it when you are pulled into family drama or get caught between two friends who are arguing? You know, it usually ends up in a no-win situation. And it would have been the same for Simon. In the movie, The Passion of the Christ, Simon is shown as trying his best to avoid being pulled into the drama that was unfolding before him. He was just a simple man who was coming into the city and he got caught up in the commotion. But the Romans forced him to assist our Lord. Seeing that he was weakened by the scourging in the first part of the journey to Calvary. You know, in the movie, there's that one point when Simon is taking the cross on his shoulders and his eyes locked with the eyes of the Lord. And it was at that moment, his attitude shifted from not wanting to carry the cross, but willing to carry the cross and help Jesus. You know, so many times I often wonder what I would have done in his shoes. Would I have resisted or would I have eagerly embraced the cross? You know, Maximilian Kobe is a man that without hesitation, he would have embraced it. He did not hesitate to step forward to offer his life in that consecration, concentration camp so that another man could live. And that particular man lived to see the day that Maximilian was canonized a saint. Or is there a parent who would not willingly do what they have to do to step up to save their child. I know many of you have done that. We never know quite how we will respond in situations, but so many of us do respond. We respond because of our confirmation, because the Spirit of the Lord is alive in our lives. And we respond for the sake of love. Daily, I hope and I pray, I have the courage to step up, to respond, and take up the cross the Lord has placed in front of me and walk with him, even when I know it's not going to be a pretty journey. In silence, Simon walked with Jesus. It was an experience that never left him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen.